In this video, we are going to focus on the discriminant and nature of roots of quadratic equations. You will find this on page 14 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Discriminant and nature of the roots of quadratic equations. The roots of a quadratic equation are the values of X the variable which satisfy the equation, its solutions. So it is if you factorize or you use the formula of a quadratic and you find that answers of x, that values of x, that is called the roots. So for a quadratic equation, its roots are given, that is the formula. Do you see? And that answers of x, that is the roots. Okay. Now, the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation depends on the value of this part. And this part is the part underneath the root. So, that part underneath the root determine if that answers of x will be rational, irrational, or if there will be no roots and things like that. The expression is known as the discriminant. So, they call this part the discriminant. The part of the quadratic formula underneath the square root sign is called the discriminant. For example, the roots of the equation this are, okay, and I work it out, say if I work it out, then, oh, I see, what happens? The part underneath the root is negative. If you press that on your calculator, what will you get? You will get error. So, that is a non-real. It will happen that these roots are non-real. So since this is a non-real number, we say that the equation has no real roots. So we can determine whether a quadratic equation has real roots or non-real roots, other, other name for that is imaginary roots, based on the constants a, b and c. The following table gives the relationship between the nature of the roots, the value of this, and the graph of the equations. Now, this is very important. It's important that you memorize it, but it's actually first important that you understand it. Then it's actually not necessary to memorize it. Okay, but just very, very important, and I'm, I'm going to say it a few times when we work in this section. The nature of the roots can only be determined of quadratic equations. We cannot determine in this syllabus, the nature of the roots of cubic equations. It's only for quadratic equations. Okay, let's start with the table. So, if the discriminant is smaller than zero, like we saw here, then we say no real roots. And what will happen? If this is, and I'm, I didn't show you the y-axis, but I can. So I actually just showed you the x-axis. So if this, if, if it's no real roots, it will not intersect the x-axis. It will not cross or touch the x-axis. Okay. Now this will be, it's just to say, if it's say for example positive to, okay, let's just give my pen correct, to, still not correct, 2x squared, then it will look like this. And if, say, it's just example, negative squared, then it will look like this. Okay, so this is my example. This is the one I used there. So, and this is the graph of it. So, it's not touching my x-axis. It's not cutting my x-axis. So, we say it's non real roots. So if the discriminant is smaller, then it's non real roots. That you must actually understand and if you and also memorize it. The next one. If the discriminant is equal to zero, okay, now what will happen? Then you will say it's too real, but it's actually just real rational, very important, real rational and equal roots. So it's two, but they will be the same value. Okay. And that, so it's actually only one solution. An example, this is my example there, and it, it I draw it there. Can you see it's touching, and it's touching where x is equal to one, and that will be my rational and equal root. So you will say real, rational, and equal, and that's if the discriminant is zero. Okay. Touch the x-axis only at one point. Now, if 
it's bigger than zero. Now, there's two options. If it's not a perfect square, now what is perfect square? Let's, let's first write what is perfect square. Perfect square numbers. And that will be 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. 4 times 4 or 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. 6 squared is 36. That is my square numbers. All the ones in between is not perfect square numbers. So if you get not perfect square, all the in-betweens, can you see 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, uh, 8, and then, okay, and then 10, 11, all that, then you will say it's too real, it's irrational and unequal roots. And there I gave you, and it's cutting, and it's cutting in two places. So there I go. So the discriminant is 53. It's not a perfect square number. So I will just say that it's too real, irrational, and unequal roots. And there I show. It's that values where we will usually say approximately to two decimal places because it's just going on on the calculator. Because if you press that on the calculator, it will give you a number that don't stop. And if it don't stop, it keeps on dividing, it's going to be irrational. You cannot write it as a vulgar fraction. And it will this an example. And then the next one, and this, if it's bigger than zero, but now it's a perfect square. And what did I say is my perfect square numbers? 1, 4, 9, 16, 24. Then you say, too real, it's rational. Rational, not irrational. So there's the difference. Okay. And it's unequal roots. And there I gave you, do you see 49? Yes, I can. It's 7. And then it will be a number rational that stops. So negative 2.5, can I write it as a vulgar? Yes, it's negative uh, 2 and a half or 5 over 10, which is a half. And x is 1. Okay, and that is my option. So you have to just, very important, that's the, the first one. Uh, I think I would have, okay. Uh, smaller. Let's make this one. I like if this one is in red. Just going to clean it a little bit and just make this one for myself red. So smaller and then no real roots. Okay. And then if it's equal to zero and then if it's bigger than zero. Okay. Let's move on. Now I'm going to use that. So if I say determine the nature of the roots, so write the equation in standard form and determine the value of that discriminant. So let's look at an example without solving the equation. Don't factorize, don't use the formula, don't complete the square, don't draw a graph, but tell us what will be the roots. Determine the nature of the roots. Now first, I'm just going to quickly just multiply, multiply, take, if it's quadratic, take everything to one side and put it equal to zero. And now work out the discriminant. B squared minus 4AC. Okay, remember, um, A, this is A, and this is B, and this is C. Okay, and then I'm just going to quickly work it out and I get 25. Oh, 25. 25 is a perfect square number. So, I can show you on the table, okay, perfect square, no, perfect square numbers, then it's two real, rational, and unequal roots. And that's what I wrote. So the roots are real, rational, and unequal. Okay. I want you to stop the video, and I want you to do number A, and B, and C, and D. And every time, without solving the equation, don't find the values of x. I'm not interested. I just want to know how will that roots be? How will that values of x be? Okay, let's start with the first one. Number a. Okay, so I first write it down. Okay, now don't forget. I'm only working out the discriminant, but from where is the discriminant? It's coming from my quadratic equation. So it's b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And that part is my discriminant. Because it's underneath the root, it determines the root. So let's start. I'm going to say I just work out the discriminant. And that is 
b squared minus 4ac. Then don't forget that this will be a, this will be b, and this will be c. And then I'm going to say negative 7 squared minus 4a to c negative 3. And that is 49, and a negative times a negative is positive. And that's 4 times 2 is 8 times it's 24. And if I add it up, so therefore, the discriminant is 73. Look at it. Think. It's bigger than 0. But it's not a perfect square number. So think, the discriminant is bigger. Let's just write it nice. It's bigger than 0, but not perfect square number. So, so I'm going to say, therefore, therefore, the roots, the roots, and I don't want, I don't want to find them. I just want to tell something about them. They, the roots are real. They are Irrational, the reason because it's not a perfect square number, and unequal. And if you draw a graph, and I can just show you, it's coming from here, not a perfect, so real, too real, irrational, and unequal. And it's coming, my graph there. Okay, and if I have a graph, okay, I know, I know, no, no. Okay. I know that, that it's, there's a positive, so, so it's, it will be maybe something, and it will cut in two places, and they will not be equal. That's, that's our goal. It's, it's very important for me that, especially on this level, that you, the whole time you understand what you're doing, you can imagine a picture or a graph, because at the end, if, if questions like, which is out of the box, then, then this information of thinking a little bit further will help you. Okay, let's do number three. Number B. So this is going to be three x squared. And actually, I gave you so easy ones. Now you know sometimes when you look a second second time at something, I wonder why didn't they give you one where you had to first write it in standard form? So no, um, if it's not, you just make it like that. Luckily, the example is like this. Okay, so let's work out the discriminant. So discriminant is always b squared minus four a c. And don't forget that this is A, this is B, and this is C. So I'm going to say B squared, so it's 2 squared minus 4, 3, C. And that will be 4 minus 12. Oh, interesting. Negative 8. Oh. So what do I say? The discriminant is smaller than 0. Okay, what happens if it's smaller than 0? So therefore... And I can, I just want to show you again, it's coming smaller than zero, so no real roots. Okay. So therefore, I just say the roots, the roots are non-real. Or you can use the other word, imaginary. Okay, and again, I, I like it if you just imagine a picture and how, because it's positive, it's a smiley face coming from ordinary level, and but it's not cutting. So it it's will maybe just do something or it can even move to the, but it will not cut the X axis. Okay, let's look at number C. x squared minus 28 plus 25, and that's equal to 0. Okay, so again, I work out the discriminant. And that's b squared minus 4ac. Don't forget, this is a, this is b, and this is c. Okay, 
And now I'm just going to substitute. So negative 20 squared minus 4a, what is it, 4c, 25. And that's going to be 400. And this is 8 times 20, minus 400. Oh, this is nice. Zero. So therefore, the discriminant is zero. Oh, now I can take you back. If it's zero, then it's real, real, it's actually only having one solution. So it's real, it's rational, and it's equal roots. Okay, so let's just go. So therefore, no, I don't want to. Let's make it blue. Okay, I'm going to say if it's equal to zero, then the roots are real, rational, and equal. And again, I want you to imagine a picture. This is my picture. Okay, if it's equal and it's again positive, so then I will just know that it will just touch. Can can even touch there. It doesn't matter anywhere, but it's up and it's only touching. So it's the you will get two brackets that's the same if, if you work out the values of x, and then it's basically the point where you touch. If you find um, if you put it equal to zero. Okay, the last one, the last one. And it's very important that, that you you understand the table. Especially, this is now straightforward, but later on we work with it, and, and then it's very, uh, you, you need a little bit more insight in the questions. Okay, number D. Okay, it's going to be 7x squared plus 12x plus 5, and that's equal to 0. Okay, so now I'm going to again work out the discriminant. Always, if I ask the nature of the root, Think discriminant because it's underneath the square root, and that's why it determines so many things. And again, I like you. You see, this is A, this is B, and this is C. So I'm um, these squares. So it's 12 squared minus 4 in the place of A, 7 in the place of C, 5. And that's 1, 4, 4. Okay, and now if you say 4 times 7, okay, that's 20. To, uh, you can actually, it's easier. 4 times 5 is 20 times 7, it's minus 140. And that will just give me an answer of 4. So therefore, the discriminant equals 4. Oh, oh. The discriminant is bigger than 0, and that number is a perfect square number. Do you see that? So you're going to say therefore the roots are real, rational and unequal. And that's how you do it. Very easy.